National Police Service Commission a mandate as stipulated in the Constitution is to recruit, appoint uh, officers to hold or act in offices, is also to determine all promotions of officers uh, in the National Police Service, including promotion of civilian staff working in the National Police uh, Service. Along with that, the promotion regulations and also the National Police Service Act 2011 allows us to categorize officers into two groups. One is a group of officers holding the rank of police constable to chief inspector of police. This is mainly uh, officers who are in the operational uh, lines, all officers serving in the ranks that we call production, a line for security and policing services. We delegate uh, these officers partially to some extent their uh, promotion and also their um, uh, discipline. We ask the IG as a commissioner to also help us take care of that, and this is where the majority are. The other category of officers is officers serving in the rank of ASP, Assistant Superintendent of Police, to uh, a Deputy Inspector General, and also the Senior Assistant Inspector General. These officers are not delegable to uh, the service because the commission takes care of their promotion, also their disciplinary control, and other human resource matters that affect them. Therefore, today, the officers uh, we have before us are totaling to 183 officers who will be attending interviews up to tomorrow, and among them is uh, officers of the Admission of Police Service, officers of the Kenya Police Service, and officers of DCI. This is an activity that we have been undertaking. Uh, in um, years previously, we have uh, uh, interviewed uh, HDC interviews to 515 officers from year 2019 up to uh, the previous year. And if you add today the ones we are um, interviewing, then you will see the total number of officers who have passed through this rank. The six months promotion course is designed to prepare the officers um, currently who have served it successfully in the rank of chief inspector for leadership roles in the service. The ultimate goal is to ensure that police training and uh, uh, other uh, support for officers and preparation for leadership role uh, delivers the requisite leadership and managerial uh, skills that will ensure the National Police Service improves in their performance every day. We pick these officers by or through very competitive process because it is a course that leads to a promotion. There are trainings that don't lead to a promotion, they just empower your capacity. This being a promotion course, it is a very serious uh, exercise for the commission and therefore they go through promotion boards where they uh, competitively compete for the opportunities that are declared and be able to be given the, uh, the opportunity to attend this uh, course. 